Welcome to Mini Machines Volume 5. In case this is your first time with us, my name is Lex, and it'll be my pleasure to be your guide today. Today we're going to discuss tramming. Now, tramming is a term that means to align one part of a machine or fixture with another. It's most commonly used to mean the process of aligning the mill spindle so that it's as perfectly perpendicular to the mill bed as possible. Now, this allows us great precision when we go to drill, bore, face, or cut our workpieces. But before we can tram our mill with any accuracy, we need to adjust the jibs on the three mill axes. Excess play in the jibs will allow movement between the mill bed and spindle. Tramming would be pointless. And before we can adjust the jibs, we need to be sure that they're clean and greased properly. So this volume will start with a step-by-step -step procedure for disassembling, adjusting, and reassembling all three axes, as well as jib adjustment, and finally, tramming the spindle. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how accurate our little machines can be. As always, I'm going to urge you to review the safety section of the presentation. If you're not a new viewer, you've seen it perhaps many times before. But the whole purpose of watching it is to get your mind in a safety-first mode. Complacency causes injuries to folks like you and me every single minute of every single day. Why be a statistic? Review the material and try to keep thinking of ways to apply the safety principles mentioned there. This is vital. We can't even begin to cover everything that could go wrong. All we can assure you is, at some point, it will. Safety first thinking can help you deal with those occasions in an appropriate manner, which could save you serious injury. So please, spend a few minutes and go over it again. In this volume, you'll be lifting, tilting, and disassembling your mill. Now it's imperative that your mill be securely bolted down to an immovable workbench or the like to prevent strains, ruptures, or crushing injuries. And make sure that when you do lift a part, that it is within your capabilities to do so. And if you have any doubt whatsoever, get some help first. And do make sure that you lift in an appropriate manner to avoid injury. Again, we here at Swarfrad want to thank you for purchasing this presentation, and we hope that it will be of help to you in having a healthy, happy, and productive experience in the art and science of metalworking.